As a federal advisory committee meets Wednesday to sign off on allowing one vaccine to go into adolescent arms, the White House reportedly said on a call that states won't receive any doses for another next week. A new supply of Johnson & Johnson vaccines, which have faced production problems, wasn't immediately available for ordering Tuesday, according to Politico. The vaccine output has been limited since its authorization in late February, and in April, federal health officials paused its use for 11 days after a rare blood clotting disorder was associated with the shot. It all comes as the vaccination rush has slowed around the nation. President Joe Biden wants 70% of American adults at least partially vaccinated by the 4th of July. That's about what some experts say is needed to get the pandemic under control. Right now less than half of Americans have received at least one shot. But the Food and Drug Administration on Monday granted emergency use authorization to the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine for children 12 to 15, and a few cities offered shots less than 24 hours later, but most are waiting for a federal advisory committee that meets Wednesday to sign off on the move. The Massachusetts Department of Public Health reported zero new deaths in the entire state Tuesday as 3 million residents are now fully vaccinated. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says almost 50% of eligible adults in the country have received at least one shot of the COVID-19 vaccine. Just 11% of American adults who remain unvaccinated for COVID-19 say they definitely will get the shot, while 34% say they definitely won't, according to a new poll by the Associated Press Nork Center for Public Affairs Research. Another 27% say they probably will and 27% say they probably won't. More than 70 dead bodies have been found floating down the Ganges River in eastern India as the country battles the world's most severe coronavirus crisis. Indian health care and funeral facilities have been overwhelmed in recent weeks as hospitals run out of oxygen and crematoriums operate 24 hours a day. There isn't data available yet on how the pandemic has affected the nation's overall dropout rate, and many school officials say it's too early to know how many students who stopped logging on for distance learning don't plan to return. But soaring numbers of students who are failing classes or are chronically absent have experts fearing the worst. Vaccination rates for retirement-age Americans have been lowest in states in the South, according to a new government study. Keep refreshing this page for the latest updates. Want more? Sign up for our Coronavirus Watch newsletter for updates to your inbox and join our Facebook group. Though the number of new COVID-19 cases and deaths globally slightly decreased this week, the World Health Organization is warning there may be trouble on the horizon.